and you know what that means. That's right, it is, I don't even know what day it is anymore, days have no meaning. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to yet another edition of Sip and Snack. That was really, really dark when I said that. No, seriously, it's just like, I don't, don't even know what day it is anymore, I don't know what this video is for. I'm pretty sure this is the video for Friday. Yeah, that's right, it's Friday's video. Basically because AJ's taking Saturday and Sunday, and Ashley and myself are doing another uh, wrap-up show, and another podcast talking wrestling and other assorted things tomorrow. So, because it is now Saturday morning at about a eh, quarter till ten, full disclosure, and I am doing a sip and snack that I probably should have done back in 2001 when this thing started out. So, I have been doing a lot of Mountain Dew on this network. I've done Kickstart, I've done Game Fuel, and a lot of variants, and there's still one more to come, as you can probably tell. There is a Mountain Dew Zero that exists, and uh, a Diet Mountain Dew Zero on top of that, so... Basically, that's what that's an oxymoron diet Mountain Dew Zero. So basically, but Mountain Dew Zero is coming to this network very soon. It's in my fridge right now. I just haven't filmed the video yet. But this is something that's been around since 2001, and I don't know how I haven't picked it up yet. So I thought the other day, I was like, you know what? I might as well. This started 10 years after that in 2011, a much more interesting time for me personally. There were a lot of very different flavors, like sugar-free, and Overdrive, which is their cherry variation, Relaunch, which was an orange variation, which was discontinued, Elevate, which is mixed berry, and Traction, which is grape, green tea lightning, which is lemonade, and sugar-free lightning and watermelon. So basically, they decided they wanted to get rid of most of those. And in 2013, they brought back their orange flavor. 2018, they introduced new flavors, and right now, it looks like there's not much information past that. Oh, yeah, we're doing Mountain Dew Amp today. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, this is the Mountain Dew Amp Energy Drink. Given the fact I just ran a 10K by my own accord, I uh, probably should be drinking this. So, I'm going to do that. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not a good idea to get the heart rate back up after the heart rate's already up from a 6.2-mile run. But that's another story for another time. Anyway, so this drink here has caffeine, B vitamins... According to the top, literally it says caffeine, B vitamins. That's it. And it is a citrus flavored energy drink with other natural flavors. It's a 16 ounce drink and it is 220 calories. No fat, uh, 140 milligrams of sodium, 58 grams of total carbohydrates, 58 grams of total sugars, including 58 grams of added sugars, no protein, 0.7 uh, milligrams of riboflavin, 4 milligrams of niacin, vitamin B6 is 0.3 milligrams. Vitamin B12 is 1.2 mcg and panathenic acid 2 milligrams. So we're going to try this. I don't know how I haven't done this yet. Weirdly enough, if you look at the video from the other day when I did Game Fuel, it's an amp drink. And I even posted on the thing. So see what we got here. It smells like a regular like citrus energy drink. So we got the uh, nondescript taster glass to pour some in here. Ooh, that looks like Mountain Dew. I wonder if it's Mountain Dew as an energy drink. We're about to find out. Interesting smell to it. It's very tart. It's like if someone thought it'd be funny to dump a Red Bull or a Monster in a Mountain Dew and then just like not really shake it up very well. <laughs> it's not bad. It tastes like a mount. what I would believe what would happen if you dump sweet tarts into a Mountain Dew. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> I might try that sometime and let you guys know my findings. Or maybe not. We'll see. But it's not bad. It's pretty good, actually. Uh, Mountain Dew Amp. Uh, try out of the cup. I don't know why I was pouring there, but it's, it's been a long morning. So let's try some out of the can. Yeah, it's, it's definitely Mountain Dew as an energy drink. It's not bad. It's pretty good, actually. I would recommend this. I'm going to hopefully that I can actually keep this in the frame long enough that it actually sticks as the thumbnail, unlike Game Fuel Zero uh, Charged Raspberry Lemonade that I did, which did not stick as a thumbnail, just me making weird faces into the camera. So yeah, I believe that's your video for the day. I recommend this. I mean, if you haven't already tried it, I'm going to guess if you like energy drinks, if you like Mountain Dew, this is exactly what you're looking for. I love Kickstarter. Definitely recommend it. The Game Fuel, 
I, it's not an energy drink, not really, kind of, somewhat. Yeah, it's an energy drink, I guess you would say. I thought Games Fuel was more of like a, like a soda beverage, but actually it is an energy drink. So yeah, this is this is pretty good. I definitely recommend it. If you see it in your stores, I'm sure you have since 2001, one way or another, you probably either walked by it or grabbed it and tried it already. So I'm way, way behind uh, everybody on this. But it's still good, and I definitely would recommend it. So that's going to be your sip and snack for today. Tomorrow we should be getting back to normal here on this network, as in Saturday's video, which is going to be AJ's movie reviews, I believe, and another Versus coming this weekend. Ashley and myself are doing another weekly wrap-up podcast coming up on Sunday night at 7 or 8 p.m. I don't remember which one off the top of my head. Uh, stay tuned to uh, this network for information. If you check the, uh, you have your notification bell on, you can definitely see when we're posting new videos. Forces of Liberty will be returning in the next couple of weeks. I have only one week of, co of coverage yet left, so needless to say, those videos are staying until the week before we officially get back to normal around here. And um, believe me, I want that to happen sooner rather than later. And I also have a plenty of concert footage, so stay tuned for that. AJ's got some new segments coming up, so stay tuned for more information on that. So if you like these videos, then tell your friends about them. Leave a comment, do subscribe, help spread the word about Popcast Network. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, you can at Soro and Disney. And if you have any ideas for Sip and Snack or Versus and any other regular segments on this network, feel free to shoot me an email, Disney at gmail.com. So in the meantime, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.